wow. What the fuck is this? What is this, Production design team have been able to create these worlds for real. We had the blight, we've had the ways, which was just extraordinary environment. The ways is like the most talked about set ever. <laughs> we talked about the ways for a year and a half. I think the big challenge with the ways was how to build it in such a way that it wasn't a 12 minute CG scene. When I got the script of the episode seven, the, the description of the vase was that it's a pitch black and only the lanterns can create a little bit of the light. So we started thinking about using some natural caves. We did a scout in Slovenia, checking some of these big caves, which of course they are amazing, but uh, the problem is that they look like a natural cave and it's really important to have an element of something which was built so I was thinking, OK, maybe they create the pass from these basalt stones, because if you see the, the hexagonal shape of the basalt, you can kind of create pavement. Some of the days, we change the configuration of the ways, especially like a giant Lego set. And after that, I had to be a little bit pragmatic. So we said, OK, let's do the platforms on the wheels so we can create different setups, like I make the wider platform, narrower platform, because we will use that advantage of the hexagons being able to connect it together. And they are really looking great. We were trying to figure out, so how do we do the blight? And discussing with Rafe and Andre, it was sort of like, we just don't want it to be kind of this fantastical huntsman or Snow White in the Seven Dwarfs. Like, you don't want it to be a fantasy forest, because this place, it's a rotten place. We were supposed to go to this island in the Canaries called Gomera, which had this particular kind of forest. It's a really interesting place, it's quite gnarly, but it's not like kind of fantastical looking. It's just sort of very unique. And then obviously the pandemic hit and we couldn't travel and things like that. Quite quickly, we came to the conclusion that we might have to build some kind of a forest. Andre just landed this idea, which was just this sort of four or five legged thing, really just looked like a tree that looked like a spider. I just saw that and I went, that is most definitely a thing you could call the blight. That was a challenging set for us. Time-wise and also nature is the trickiest thing to, to create because it's very hard to manufacture all the details and the textures. Each tree has to be touched by different professions. Each leg is made from the metal tubes which are creating the structure. And after that, the sculptures make the body of the tree from the foam. So we had a shape of the tree. And after that, we need the texture of the tree. So another team did the molds from old trees with the molitan foam that you can bend it and you can play with that. And there was another team who put the paint over, and there was another team who put the moss and greenery over it. Once the tree was ready, we put them together into the shape of the forest. Once you're inside it and shooting, you feel lost, you feel overwhelmed. You feel like everything's closing in and encroaching on you. Although it makes it harder to shoot in there, it does give you that feeling that we were always hoping to get from the blight. It was the most incredible world to work in because, you know, your fear as an actor is that you're going to have to conjure the whole thing in your, your mind's eye in front of a blue screen. I mean, the idea of having to create the blight in front of a blue screen, I was very nervous that that would be the case. But in fact, you know, we had fronds and tendrils and stuff that would brush on your clothes and, and, and limbs of people who died in the blight coming out of trees. I and mean, it was really creepy and the lighting was fantastic. And a lot of our jobs done for us, you see, by this amazing world building. Try everything. Right? Drink. Hello. Hello. I don't care about the show. I just want a good blooper reel. I want to learn science. science. <laughs> you guys are going to make me look like I'm in the show, right? You're going to put in the effects. Replace the green. I don't want to look like an asshole here. Sorry. <laughs>